What's going on everybody? We're back with a long overdue update on the koi pond here. Uh, so the last time I did a video was in the, I think it was about six months ago, uh, right at the beginning of spring. We're about to kick it things off. Um, I was gonna planning on doing another video if the fish ended up spawning so I could show what I do with the females and how I separate them, but they actually didn't never did spawn at all this year, uh, which is surprising. I think it might have to do with the long fasting that I did, so I fasted the fish from November of last year up until about April. Um, I didn't really start feeding them until May, uh, so I, I think that might have limited some of the egg production in the females. It didn't really look like any of them got a lot of eggs in, in their belly, so never had any spawning. Um, for that reason, I never really did a video, just kind of the pond's been on autopilot ever since then. Um, so here we are now in the fall season, mid-October, water's starting to cool off. Fish look like it's starting to get a little bit more active, getting prepping up for the winter. Um, so I did rehome uh, six to seven fish since the last video I did, so you'll notice there's probably a little bit less fish in here. Uh, just continuing to get rid of the pop, you know, whittle down the population as the fish start to get bigger, keeping the, some of my favorites. Um, I do have two new ones in here, I believe, since the last video I did. So I said I wasn't going to buy more fish, but uh, you know, you know how that goes. So the new guy is this uh, little Karashi Goy right there. So he's actually blown up quite a bit. So he was about five, six inches when I bought him, and he's almost tripled in size since then. And the other guy is this uh, little Isa Shoa down there. Um, and I think that should be it. I, I like I said, I got rid of about six of them. Oh, sorry, that little. Uh, multi-step kohaku right there those three little guys were new this year um let's see what else is new uh overall pond's doing really well still still feeding the fish about 10 12 times a day at the moment uh it seems like october and september october when the water starts cooling off a bit that's when the fish really start wanting to bulk up and they start to eat a lot more july august they, they tend to be a little bit sluggish um doesn't seem like they're too active or actively chasing food compared to how they are in the spring and the fall. So I think right now I'm left with about 20 or 21 fish in total. There's still a couple more that I, that I plan to get rid of. Um, here probably next season. My goal is to have maybe 15 or so once these guys start to get, you know, b bigger adult sized fish. And I think the, the some of the biggest ones that I have right now is probably going to be the the platinum ogon right there. That looks like it's the longest, and also that uh, Ginrin Showa that's over there. That guy he's probably pushing 24, 25 inches at the moment. No major health issues so far this summer, which is good news. Uh, didn't really notice any f any flashing issues or anything that could be indicative of flukes. Um, did treat the water once as the water as it started to warm up. I just it was just kind of a preventative fluke treatment that I do every year. Let's see if I can zoom on some of these fish individually. That's my little Ochiba right there. It's starting to look really nice. Uh, I don't think it's going to grow too much more. It, it seems like it's kind of maxed out about 22 inches. So it'll probably, I think long term, that one will probably end up being about 24 to 26. Uh, really nice color. The pattern still stayed stable. It hasn't really lost any of the, the orangish brown color. This is my big Ginrin Chagoy. Uh, this show is another big guy there as well. He's probably also about 24 inches now. Really happy with how little this guy's developing, little Kage Shiratsuri. This Doitsu Chago is getting rehomed. Uh, that one's going to a family friend. See massive body shape on the little Karashi Goy there. That guy's going to be a brute. All right, that's about it. Just want to do a quick check-in. Um, hopefully, if I have time, I'll start measuring some of those fish at the end of the season, pull them out, and get some updated pictures and measurements, and hopefully have a chance to do a quick video at the end. But until then, thanks for watching, guys.